I've recently replaced the halogen headlamp on my bicycle with one of the new generation of high output LED lights. This is the Schmidt Edilux. All the electrical equipment on the bicycle gets its energy from this Schmidt uh, Dino Hub. The headlamp has got a socket for connecting a rear lamp. Um, the output to the rear lamp is quite simply in parallel with the alternator. Um, so there's no regulation and there's no stand light provision from that output. I've replaced my old um, battery backlight with this B&M top light dynamo driven rear lamp. It's also got a feature where it brightens up um, if it detects uh, that you're slowing down, which is quite a neat feature. One of the terminals of the backlight is connected directly to the frame of the bicycle by that black wire that you can see there. It's just uh, connected to an eyelet which is attached to the left hand um, mounting bolt of the backlight. The cable run from the backlight to the front light was a bit of a challenge and as a bit of an experiment I've decided to wire it using a very thin high-tech wire called Kynar, that's K-Y-N-A-R. It's used uh, in electronics to prototype circuits and it's a silver plated copper wire that's uh, a single strand um, and it's insulated with, it's not PTFE but it's some high-tech plastic that is UV proof and quite tough. The wire itself is very thin but it's also very flexible and if I just trace the path there you can see uh, it's coming out of the lamp. You can maybe just see the little bit of pink there. Then it goes under this plastic tube here which I, I can't remember where I got this tube from but I just slit it lengthwise and snapped it over the, the rack. Um, you can see the wire coming out here and it's going up here. You can see it's going up the centre pool brake cable. I've twisted it around that. Then onto the brake cable itself and along the top tube and you can see that the wire is thin enough to go through the cable guides. So it runs up here and then if we look it comes down the um, uh, the front brake cable and then along the front rack um, and eventually uh, into the front headlamp. Until a couple of years ago I used a Garmin GPS that used AA batteries um, but then I moved to this model, the uh, Edge 705 which has got uh, rechargeable batteries um, built in and uh, it meant that you, at the end of the day, you had to find somewhere to charge it up if you were going on a long tour um, and you were camping, that sometimes I found that difficult and so I wanted to be able to recharge the um, sat-nav while I was riding. This is a B&M Everk which uh, takes the output from a dynamo and uh, provides uh, charging to charge um, a battery which then can be used to power other electronic devices, phones and sat-navs principally on your bicycle. So here's the output from the dynamo and you can see there are two wires coming from it. One here uh, that's going up to the uh, front headlamp here and the other here is uh, going up this stay on the front rack and then with plenty of cable ties along here and here's the other end here um, and this is connected to the Everk. Here it is connected. Um, the two dials on the Everk, one is for voltage and one is for current and if you're using the cash battery that B&M also supply you set the voltage to 5.6 here and the orange uh, adjustment you set to 1.5 amps. And the other uh, lead here um, is connected to charge up the battery. This is the B&M cash battery um, that, the, that gets charged via the Everk 
um, charge control circuit. Um, it's got two leads. One is the input from the EVERC, which has got the green LED to show when it's charging, and the other lead is the output. This is a little fabric case, and you can see, or maybe you can't see because it's very dark, the electronic unit, the EVERC, is in this compartment here, and in front of it is the battery. And I've connected the, um, the lead from the dynamo, comes up here, and it's connected to one of the uh, leads on the EVERC, the input, and the output of the EVERC is connected to the battery. And then in turn the output of the battery is here. You can connect a range of different leads to this, all supplied by uh, B&M, uh, USB, mini USB, um, all sorts. Um, I'm just now going to show you how I connect it to my GPS. So here's the battery output now connected to um, a lead supplied with the kit and the other end of that lead has got a, um, a mini USB socket on it. So here's the whole thing. We've got the input from the dynamo here, which goes to the EVERC, the output from the EVERC into the battery, the output from the battery up here to the um, sat nav. The, um, if I'm going out in a short ride and don't need the sat-nav, um, I can disconnect this whole um, arrangement and take the black bag and everything else, I can take it off. The little black bag has turned out to be really useful for keeping everything together. Um, it's waterproof and I got it originally when I bought a laser spirit level, uh, real cheap from one of those bargain DIY stores. Here it is, it's, it's nothing special, but uh, the little bag, as you can see here, um, does the job great. Um, it's cheap and it's um, easy to remove if I'm going on short runs.